The way it looks, yeah, FNG taking the tankies there. We'll see if they swap their lanes around or if that's going to be the, the five tankies. Bottom rune, looks like there's going to be a fight. VP ready from the high ground to get on top of Collapse. Realizes the bounty rune is not worth it, but he has oh. one level one shockwave already, and Blinding Light will push him back into them. A bit more damage required, and the Blood Grenade will help out to try and get first blood here for Squadix, the mid laner. That's Bottle already. Surprised that he skilled up his shockwave there and didn't get a chance to use it, of course. NG really wants level three. A collapse, another shockwave skewer, this time under tower. And Kiritik in a lot of trouble, just getting blasted down. He realizes this is a losing fight and he'd rather just trade as best he can against the Magnus while he dies. Yeah, it does some damage, but ring health coming in. Top, Yatro goes for a TP out there as he gets... ...across the field. <laughs> Guarding the stacks, the most important thing on the map. Yeah, they haven't little... achieved any yet, so it's a good job stopping it mid. Yeah, I mean, Koffel came in to refill Squad X, pops his wand, runs it back. And still being chased down by Mira here with the Arcane Bolts. So that should finish him off. Mira dead. Ooh! Ooh. Squad X. Doesn't kill Squad X. And he placed an Observer Ward right in front of the tank. Not dying to the Coddle or the Skyrath. They're overcommitted. Now he comes back. Yeah, the Slight. Illuminate. Lol. Still level 5. Can't escape. Squad X with some outplays. Man, he, he's pulling out some good moves. Yeah, I wonder now, is he not just going to go for it? He's queued up treads. I don't They're going to get gone on still. Skewer back with a sticky bomb. Mira trying to help out onto the CK. A shockwave and the death of the Magnus. I'm confused, actually. Uh, I'm not sure about this Ring of Health only build. He's going for too passive for how well we're doing. Well, he might be dying again. Oh, oh he might be skewering the CK onto tower. Illuminate flies across. Kiritich is still in a spot of danger. Mira unloading a lot of magic damage and silencing him up, but both him and FNG will survive. Super low HP though, and they come in with the Ember. Oh yeah, quick snipe on the Scarth Mage. Places Great. an Observer Ward in his dying breath. Like a grenade sounds like a small firework being used, like a block. Storm Team Spirit hasted. putting some emphasis on the bottom lane. Oh, yeah. I hate the storm down here, and FNG's pretty low. Twin gate is available. Skewer in. Collapse. We're thinking about the RP and the Storm Spirit. Going to simply take down the Keeper of the Light. Well, the RP is expended. Kiritich being bullied back. A good blast off from FNG with a roar on the Storm. I don't know the if they've got the damage to kill him. Lol, this time around, we're going to ball down to low ground and TP out. Well, the CK dies and Skyrim's mage is going to find FNG. Clean up. A double kill for Mira. Notice, chucks some axes at them, but he's already TP'd out. Back to his tier one. Yeah. Squad X. Gonna be hunting Mira now. Way there. For now, VP. Ember on mid lane game jump. Yeah, they do get the Ancient Seal on him as well, so that allows the Storm to open up a bit more damage and finish him off. Oh. Now it's closely timed. Dice to the uh, Pogma level 1 ward. He tried to activate his remnant Oof. there. Dice to damage taken. And not just from one nice. angle. Yatro from the southeast, but you also see these two smoke spirit heroes. Three, in fact, of the storm. Looking to grab Squad X, but he remnants away quickly. This time he's out of there until Lol makes the secondary jump, but Squad X doesn't have another escape mechanism, leading to a kill on Sayush too. Again, dies to that Pugna ward. Always trying to jump out in the last second, Oof. activating the last two engagements. He just barely got brought down, but this time gets away. Storm, though, back to full mana again from the service of the Pugna. I mean, they just jump on Squad X once more. Concussive shots flying, doesn't go to him, but the Storm zips in, finds yet another kill. Techie's in trouble now as another ball lightning gets Lala a bit of distance. In the river, though, the CK aiming for Mira. FNG picked off and the Scarath doesn't die. Mira's still alive. They're hunting for Lala in the back. <laughs> Wild X is out of notice. Finally putting his nonsense to an end. Notice just adds a Storm Spirit to his farm rotation here. <laughs> Smoke again. Who are they going to find? He's low no HP on the beast. Half health and look at the storm right on top of him. No time to roar. Killed off quickly. And an invisible mystic flare as we love to see. Basically Beastmaster, BKB piercing. Uh, Manta doesn't save you. You want status rest. That's off the spin. Roar Should is there. Fine. A bit of physical damage. It looks like Yatra is okay. Omni Slash at the ready and a Storm Zip in allows the Juggernaut to get on top of Notice. Clear through him and FNG caught out as well. Squadix does look towards Yatro and kills him off with Kiritich, but lol. Out of mana now. 
Turned around on by the rest of VP. Bombs are dropped. Two core kills potentially coming. The Blink RP from Collapse, though. Back and forth in this fight. Getting a little bit sloppy, though. As VP, the ones to look to Ooh, retreat. The, the mirrors there with a backstab silence. Kills off another. And That's look, three core kills. Look at top. Pugna finally gets to finish that tower. It does mm. Yeah, smoke from Spirin. Trolling and close in on Notice. Another long zip from Lol. Gets on top of the Beastmaster. And easy as you like. Let's spin him down. Doesn't even bother spending the raw. Just pops the pipe and realizes he dies. Uh, he got silenced by the Skywrath anyway there. So didn't have a chance to. And now... Dodge camp. Trying to force VP to make a decision. A long zip across Aquatic. Cancels his TP. Courier down and Lal low mana. High ground still being pushed by Yatero. And they're one TP down. A remnant out from Squadix. Does get him a bit of distance, but look at Collapse. He's there with a the skewer, and the silence perfectly done. Predicts the movement, gets on top of him, and you're losing your barracks to Yatero at top. Yeah, he's just calmly hitting base here. He got tier three, he got range racks. Meanwhile, he, his team is also winning the team fight. VP were under a lot of stress there. And no real solution for them. Butterfly now complete. You're not TP's mid. He likes going for buildings. Not be able they have to find an storm though. Don't have vision, but you can oh, just zip yeah. in. Oh yeah. One zip, two zip, a three zip, and Beastmaster caught out. Ancient Seal is coming. Not a chance in the world for Notice to get out of here. Yeah, and top him off with a bit of drain here, Pugna. Give him the service. Kakui this is so disgusting, this combo, man. Three still in danger, though. The reality from Kiritich, Phantasm out at half HP. The illusions disappear and now collapse. Gets himself a little harpoon skewer play, but the BKB's up for the CK now. Tanking through a lot of this damage with his Crimson Guard, ward. though. Collapse has the healing ward and now an RP onto the two of them. Yatro can cleave them into pieces. Ember's dead for 45 with no buyback, and Beastmaster is in serious danger. All three cores are down, and I don't see any way you stop this. And same for VP. They just say GG. You have bested us this time, and it's going to be Team Spirit to take game three here in a very dominant fashion. And we see exactly why Yatro on his Juggernaut, even though he had a kind of silent game, being only four kills, one death, and three, or uh, one death and three assists, he did have the biggest impact, I would say, out of every player.